Hi guys, it's Anelius and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption number two. Continuing from where we left off in the last episode, which I believe was episode three. So that makes this episode four. Um, what are we going to do today? Good question. So as you can see, we got a couple of these uh, locations on the map for people of some renown. These are uh, sharpshooters. Um, what I want to do, I want to basically see if I can basically rob some stagecoach or people or whatever else I come across. So that's kind of what we're going to do today. I want to basically gain a bit of infamy. Okay, let's see. So this is, is this my new horse? I think so. And then of course I got the other horse here as well. Which one is that? Is it this one? I think so. No, it's the other one. Alright, there we go. sure if it makes any sense at all to basically have the mask on non-stop we will see Kidding. Won't take long, boy. <laughs> Why are you covering your face? Well, that's a good question, isn't it? Should be another body right around here. There we go. There's a way to skip through this quickly, I know there is. I'm just not sure if it basically is to do with us having done the skinning before. Collect three perfect quality rabbit pelts. Perfect quality rabbit pelts, okay. Pearson gives more information on the trapper himself. You don't want me using this thing on you. Slow it there. This is a robbery out here. All right. Looting innocent people is, of course, never a good thing. Silver clan buckle, yes. can we do here? Did I get him? I 
and skin the fox. Easy boy. Gotta be done. Let's stow it with the other ones. Alright, on our way to town where we should be able to meet a butcher. Alright, do see some smoke in the distance as such. To deal with this. Let's sell some of this stuff over here. This poor fellow been torn. Drops the price. Sweet. So I do see smoke in the distance. Is something in there that I can actually deal with? Uh, is there anything here at the moment? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. We got a long way to go, huh? I asked my boys here if they would help their pa build a, a new, new house. house. I'd teach them a few things, you know. Couldn't hammer a nail to save their... You got cigarettes at all? Come on, I do have them. There we go. Lives. Ain't that right, Curtis? Whatever you say, Paul. What in holy hell are you doing? Boy, get that back up again right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be hundred years old by the time we get this done. No 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 no. Get away from it. Get away from it before you mess it up even worse. <laughs> These guys are actually a, a opportunity for us to make some money in the future. So for now I'm just gonna let it be. Not going to intervene with it. I'm looking for some food that helps me raise my core stamina. The chocolate bar seems to do the trick. here. I don't see anything particular here. 
but that doesn't mean necessarily that there isn't anything to do. Here, we should come across a bridge shortly, unless I'm mistaken. Oh no, I'm, I passed the bridge already, did I? Possibly. Please don't fall underneath, that will be amazing. Thank you very much. Alright, let's catch up with them. Alright, what do we get here? pick him up as well and what we're going to do with him we're going to drop him just over the edge that'll do no one will suspect anything that way now there's a guy panning for gold over there is there? At least I thought I saw that. Maybe I'm mistaken. They should clean the horse up. Ah, oh, there's another encampment there. Like I said, we're playing the bad character this time. Alright, we got some food items and such in there as well. guy itself. Let's dump him in the river. By dumping in the river, the river will take care of the garbage. There you go. He drifts away. Salted offal. Let's cut down the carcass. Let's pick up the fish. Anything else in here? I don't see anything else that's of use potentially, but...
Right. That was that. Now there is, if I'm not mistaken, a train that crashed here. Or was it over there? There's a train that crashed in one of these locations at least. Let's just keep an eye out for it here. Right, so what do we find here? What I'll do, I'll basically go and follow the railroad, I reckon. And see what I come across. Here. It's, it's a, by one of those bigger bridges. The railway bridges. It's not this one. Are there more bridges here? Hmm. Odd. I'm pretty sure it was on this side somewhere. Making our way through a tunnel. All good fun as well. There's the next bridge. Is this the one? Nope, this is not the one. Is the next one the one? Um, no, I still don't see any bodies or anything next to it. Right, we've got our mask on. So we do get an opportunity of a robbery. Perfect. If not, then yes, yeah, so be it. That might be the one, or is it not? No. How far was it? Maybe it was all the way up to Granite Pass. Okay. There is a particular high bridge where there had been a train accident. A train had actually derailed or whatever and basically dropped itself down. And if we look carefully in there, we'll find ourselves a big wad of cash in there. one. I had rather hoped to find it already, but apparently we haven't been lucky yet. That's not the one either. The one after then? Maybe? There it is. All right. So reason for going here. Easy. It is all rather steep here, isn't it? And of course, if we make our way towards the end of the uh, canyon, it becomes more passable. Still a certain degree of steepness to it, but most definitely not as much as before. Okay. I'm 
pretty sure I can make my way through here myself. I'm just curious about how my horse is going to get through. Right, one chest. This is the easiest one to get to. There's a coin stack, there's a billfold, large jewelry bag, and that's about it for this one, unfortunately. Now what you'll see there, up there, there's a carriage that actually is still stacked sideways, as you can see. We want to get into there. Now the only way to get into there is actually by going up the actual cliff here. Nice. Okay. Little bit by little bit, we can make our way down here. All right, Valerian root, H pirate rum, express revolver bits, one gold bar, and there should be a second gold bar as well. So if I look carefully. We ought to have three gold bars, and each of them is worth about $500. I remember that we got the first one from that, uh, the, what was it? it was the jail, no, it was the, uh, the sheriff's office in the uh, other place. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ooh, barely. Alright, let's make our way back to our horse. Because I very much doubt that our horse is going to be able to get through all this. Our horsey is smart enough to actually uh, make its way to the other side. Up the other side, well, maybe I should say. Now we are going to make our way back to town in a moment. I'm saying back to town, but in reality, I mean, we're going to make our way back into uh, our camp. Ouch. I'm sure we can do this. There we go. Let's put our mask back on. drop more along this over the side here. Bye. The second one we're basically robbing here. I was right. Shotgun shells. Look at that stag there, that looks gorgeous, that stag.
gosh, it's one after the other that basically comes by here. Oh, there's a witness, really. Lovely. So we need to make our way out of here. We are wanted at the moment. As long as I can't figure out who we are or where we are, we're relatively safe. are still over there. My horse is dirty. Yes, I know it's dirty. Okay. I'm looking for a way down here to be honest. If we go gently here, we might be able to make it. It's a little bit on the steep side here. There is a guy in our camp called Hosea. And I believe it's Hosea that can actually show us how we can actually fence off certain items. So we'll introduce us to a fence, which means any stolen items actually we can sell off through him. Nicely done, really nicely done. Oh, we got a decent amount of money already, 133. Not bad. <coughs> it looks like crime does pay off. Crime does pay off in this instance. we got here. Uh, we're making our way back to town there. Perfect. All right, let's go back into town and let's just sell off the, uh, the skin that we got here. <laughs> because my honor has gone down, they, they re respond relatively aggressive now. Come on, open up. 
Mm-hmm. How's the O'Driscoll's? Right, we'll go around back here. I don't want to get into that yellow circle because I don't want to meet up with the guys there. I just merely want to go to the butcher. Right, what do we got? Ooh, poor elk belt, but it's still three something. Can be used in crafting, okay. Always good. Let's make our way back to. Down, so to speak. Maybe I do need to go to the. No, I cannot go to the general store at the moment, can I? I cannot. I was hoping to be able to buy a secondary outfit, but I can't at the present. So it looks like the train is in at the moment. Yes, my horse is dirty. I do realize that. Right, let's keep both weapons at hand. Oh, that's the one we skinned last time and we left the body here. Ha! Huh. It's interesting that the body stayed here. I would have thought that it would have disappeared by now, but... Things don't always disappear. Even if we expect them to. Right, is it too late for people to be out? I don't get it. more smoke somewhere got here a coyote easy boy got to be done california coyote Typically there's a lot more traffic here in the daytime. Then there is at the night time. Got, 
Lovely. That's one way which way which we can do it. Let's loot him. go. And I would have thought that that would have basically not been a problem. All right, what have we got here? Ah, that's the same guy's place that we just got our stuff last time. I'm pretty sure I took his horse. Anyways, let's do a bit of cooking. change the camera angle I can't that's a bit of a pity so as you can see we're making ourselves some snake oil we're putting that in a cup we're putting the relevant ingredients in the cup and then crafting the potent snake oil Snake oil is always good because we do quite regularly, of course, need our snake oil elements. Succulent fish, playing game. Let's do the game. Cooking that as you can see. Venison is probably one of the better ones. It's better well because of course you get more core health, more core stamina and so forth out of there. And then you get from the other ones. We'll do one more because we do might have a need later on for eating this. I'm going to leave this camp and we're going to go back to our horsey. To then from there make our way back to camp. I don't know why that default weapon happens to be the uh, short shotgun, but okay. should do for now. Hey, hey, we'll come back to you later. Don't worry. Hey, we got two horses following us now. 
two. Donating stuff. A coyote. An elk antler. Not the best quality, but some stringy meat. Many thanks, Morgan. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose. Alrighty. through woodlands and plants, so oh, okay. Are there more recipes in here at all? Maybe not. Okay. I'm pretty sure we've got ourselves some recipes here already. Books, secret cards, Photographs. Okay, let's read. Throwing knife. What do we need? Obtain two eagle or hawk feathers attached securely to each side of the knife. Okay. Okay. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you next. In the meantime, take care. Bye bye.